Hey guys, we're here with Dino at Spirotherm. Dino, I want you to show us your display here so we can see really how the coalescing uh, element inside of a uh, air elimination valve works to get rid of that air and just give me the whole story back on how this is better air removal uh, overall. Excellent. We start with a vessel that's bigger than the pipe so we have velocity that slows down in the unit. Uh, we fill the whole vessel with coalescing media so that outside that vessel or outside that flow path there's no turbulence that happens. You can see we have a lot of air that's built up on the wire. We have a lot of entrained air. Uh, we have some entrapped air in the, uh, in the system. And as the water passes by, that, those air bubbles will cling to the wire. As they cling to the wire, other bubbles will cling to them. And as those bubbles cling to them, they become bigger bubbles and much more buoyant. So as the fluid passes through several times, uh, eventually you'll get all the air out. You can see the bubbles coming up here. You can look down below a little bit and you can see that um, there's very little turbulence that's affecting down below. It's a little bit of an egg shape that goes around through the middle of the unit, but no turbulence outside. So once the bubble is outside the turbulent path, it's like a balloon in the summertime. When you release it, it just goes straight up in the air. Now you've got the dirt at the bottom where it's collected and you're gonna put it into the piping, right? Correct. So you can divert it back through the separator Yep. and see how it falls out of um, the flow path? Correct. And what happens is as that dirt goes through, it comes out similar to what we see with um, the air, except instead of it being more buoyant, it's heavier than the water. So as the dirt comes in the flow, it drops down to the bottom. No turbulence at the bottom um, the debris just simply falls straight out and lands on the bottom of the unit. And that's all because of the coalescing element, like it's directly in and out of the flow path, right? Correct, right. So the, the element leaves resistance throughout the vessel, so there's no short cuts around it. Okay. If we made it narrow in the middle, then that debris or the fluid would want to go around it. If we make it short, then the debris will go underneath it. Well, how come some of the competitors have like just like a screen or like a perforated uh, plastic kind of material in there. It's it's their choice. Okay. Um, as Spirotherm, as the inventor of the coalescing media, when Mr. Roffelson designed this, he designed this basically as a as a heat emitter. Uh, found that it did a very good job removing uh, air and wa uh, debris from the system, and found that by filling the whole, the vessel complete, we eliminate any uh, turbulence here. If you were to remove this screen altogether. The fluid in here would actually stir up that debris on the bottom of the unit. And put it back into the piping. Put it back into the piping, right? So it's just continued to flow. A lot of a lot of our I don't know if it's our competitors, a lot of people think that just because I have a sump here, it will remove the debris. Right. But what happens is I get eddy currents that start to spin around inside here, and this debris here will spin right out and back into the system and just to be, be deposited wherever the pump stops the debris will land. Right, and so this is a really cool display with the clear piping. Obviously, that's not what uh, air, or air limiter looks like. So let's take a look at just, you've got some cutaway models here. There's the quad, so that's a low loss header. And you can see that uh, that coalescing element is from top to bottom. Right, and we start with the quad with an air separator. So before it becomes a hydraulic separator, this top half is an air separator. Yep. Same with the bottom. The bottom half is a dirt separator. Okay. We spread the nozzles out so that if when our primary equals our secondary we get no mixing in between right so now whenever fluid is passing across the top half is doing a great job removing air yep the bottom half is doing a great job removing debris okay and then it's the same same element through all of the units right correct this has got a cutaway on it as well okay so you can see the element here this one happens to have a magnet on it. This magnet is designed to be in the flow path. So as the fluid passes, it would be actually coming this way based on the arrow. It's gonna come in, it directs the fluid to go upward yep. so that it captures air in the top half of the vessel. And then as it comes back down, um, the debris is passed across the magnets on the sides so that those magnets capture any ferrous oxide in the system. Okay. Um, a lot of our competitors use much smaller magnets. Ours are very uh, much stronger. Here we have our, you know, the, the staple of the industry is the Spirotherm Junior. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that all of these tops on all of these brass units are replaceable. Um, it's the same head, Spiro Top, uh, Spiro Vent Junior, 
the uh, combi mag, the quads, all use the same top and they're all replaceable. So you could just order one one of those, keep it on the van, the service van, and it'll cover all of these units? Right. Okay, cool. I like this to show how that, that separation and the, just the air clinging to the media. It's pretty wicked how when you see that flow through there, those bubbles will actually, f you know, cling to each other and yep. like grow larger and then float up to the right. top. The surface tension of these bubbles will, those will cling together side by side and what you'll see is those bubbles will kind of migrate together, join together. Once there's enough air in there, there's enough buoyancy to lift that bubble right off the wire so that the air will come straight out. That's a great display. Thanks, man. You're really welcome. appreciate it. I, I hope you had a good time at the show. My pleasure. We did. Thanks wow. for stopping by, Eric. You bet.